want to play frisbee? You want to play frisbee? <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's gonna. It looks like it's gonna <laughs> storm any minute. <laughs> yeah, looks like rain's coming, boys. Okay, hold on. oh, let go, let go. Okay. I think the frisbee's his new favorite toy. His ball. See his ball over there on the dog bed? He hasn't played with his ball in forever. <laughs> you love this frisbee. Yes, you do. Now you're a frisbee dog. Yes, you are. You're a frisbee dog. No, no. Okay. <laughs> he loves that frisbee. <laughs> you just love your frisbee. Um, here's the orange stuff I was talking about on my, on my uh, scoop shoes, and I googled it, and it's, oh, <laughs> some people were wondering if maybe it was from the corn stalks behind our fence there. Um, I was trying to see if he was going to catch it, so the wind is blowing, I don't know if you can hear it, and... The frisbee's been kind of staying in the air a little. I thought that one was gonna go over the fence. <laughs> um, yeah, so some people thought maybe it was, maybe the corn got sprayed with something, but I haven't seen them in the fields, except for to plow the field and then they planted the corn, that's it. So I don't know, but I Googled uh, the orange on the shoes and it says it's a fungal spore. On certain types of grass, Kentucky bluegrass, and named just some other kind of grass. And our, our lawn has multiple different kinds of grass in it. Um, so um, that's what it's from. It's from the grass, uh, fungal spores. You can see it there all over my shoe. Yes. So I've been wiping the dog's feet off with some wet wipes when they come in. <laughs> from outside um just case i don't know if it could cause itchiness my my feet aren't itchy or anything um but i don't know about with dogs is she, miggy his legs are a little orange just because he licks them and cleans them he don't have anything going on no allergies but it could be from that that orange stuff getting on his feet everybody's outside except mr grant he was out earlier did his business and he went in back to bed oh what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I got the dogs out here playing because I think it's going to rain. So we're supposed to have spotty showers all day. Well, it's cooler and there's a breeze. So anyways, I wanted to ask you guys if you guys have any tips. Uh, tra <laughs> traveling with multiple dogs. Now, because we got our dates set for... Um, to go up to the lake on Higgins Lake. So we have our date set. It's not gonna be till September, but it's still pretty decent weather in September. It's hit or miss in September. Um, so we have our date set and it's only two hours away. I think a little bit over two hours. So it's not a long drive, but I'm already planning on how I'm going to situate my car. Um, my daughter may be going with us. So is that a bee flying in front of you? No, 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 no. Don't mess with it. You don't want to get stung in your mouth, Max. No. Um, she may be going with us, so she may drive her car too, so that I'll have more room. Let go. <laughs> Let go. Let go so I can throw it. Let go. <laughs> Miggy. Miggy, let go. Um, so she may drive her own car, then I'll have plenty of room. But um, So yeah, I'm thinking I may lay a I may lay a tarp in the back of my van and then put a blanket on top of it because I thought my dogs don't ride in the car much except to go to the vet. And that's just a five, 10 minute drive. When we the vet. I, back up. I back up and then you just keep throwing it at my feet. Let's see. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, hold on. Um. So I thought I'd lay a tarp down, put a blanket on top, and then throw a couple of their dog beds in there. Um, in case any of them get um, car sick. 
I've never <laughs> had a problem with them getting car sick, but my dogs, since I have seven now, don't ride in the car as much as they used to when I only had three or four. So, um, so I thought I'd do that in case anybody got sick, at least went and, uh, get on the carpet in the car. Um, and then, cause I have to take, I want to take all their crates too. Um, in case we do any exploring and go anywhere, um, for an hour or two. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have, I'm going to have a lot of stuff to take. Um, for us, we're only going to be gone two nights, but your toiletries, your clothes, we have to take our own bedding for the beds. Um, but all the stuff for the dogs, their meds, their dog food, their crates. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to start making a list. I'm going to have to start thinking about this and planning, even though it's like a month and a half away. <laughs> so if anybody has tips of traveling with multiple dogs, I am going to make sure I know where a vet's office is up there. Um, because we're going to be gone mostly during the week. Um, because the weekends were booked. So I'm going to Google and make sure I know where some vets offices are in case of emergency. Um, ow, you got my finger. You got my finger, you little stinker. Okay, let go. Let go. Miggy, Miggy, let go. <laughs> yeah, so I've got to got to do that too so I got to start making lists yes I do because oh <laughs> was your frisbee flipping over to your head <laughs> was it trying to flip over your head um because I want to make this because my daughter's like how's it really going to be a vacation if the dogs go <laughs> and I understand what she's saying I, I totally understand it I have a tie out I want to get another tie out because I'm going to have to let them outside go to the potty uh, I have to rotate them outside, uh, going to the bathroom since it's not fenced in. Um, but it's still a vacation for me because I get to get out of my house, um, see different scenery, be on the water, take walks on the beach. Um, yes, it, it'll still, even though the dogs are going to be with me, I still got to give them their pills. I still got to let them outside and deal with them it's still going to be a vacation for me so i'm very excited yes i am so yeah if you guys have any tips let me know all right i went and woke up mr grant he's half asleep he's like what's going on <laughs> i had to wake you up so you could go pee pee before it rains let's go let's go guys let's go down mr grant let's go everybody needs to go do their business he just bypass us. I don't know. It's looking pretty dark, so yeah. I went and got him up. <laughs> you watching him? You guys watching? Seeing what he's doing? Oh, he went pee pee. Good boy, Grant. His eyes looking so good today. Just in the corner by his nose, in that corner of his eye, um, is still a little irritated, but that may take a little bit to go away. Um, but it's looking so good. I'm so happy we figured it out, what was going on. I'm having dry eye and got his drops all situated. Um, yes, so, and he's okay with me putting drops in his eye. He's so used to it now. Yeah, I just gotta be gentle with him and I don't have any fast motions or anything. He, he kind of freaks out if you put your hand in front of him too fast. So, um, kind of winces. So I don't know what that could be from, from his past 12 years, 13, no, well, he, he was 12 when we got him. So the 12 years of his life before that, I don't know what happened with him. So yeah, so when you go to pet him or anything, you just gotta kind of put your hand in front of him, kind of let him know you're there. Make sure you're just gonna pet him because he kind of winces, like he's scared you're gonna do something to him. He's not sure. Yeah, he's a good boy though. He's a good boy, even though he's kind of grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go in. This could be just a quick video of me just rambling. Um, I've got to go finish up my grocery list. i got to go grocery shopping. I've got some organizing I need to do. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness he didn't go on the toy. <laughs> Mazzy, I thought you were going to pee on that ball. 
Um, I've got some organizing of a couple closets I want to get done today. Because you know you got to, once you organize something, you got to continually organize it and go through it. Or it will just become a mess again. So i got to get that done. Um, yeah, not too much to do today, but still some stuff to do today. And I hate meal planning. I hate grocery shopping. So it's going to take me a minute. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope everybody's having a great week so far, and we will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.